गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट हियर मिस्टर भोजराज कुंभार टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सोशल साइंस पार्ट हिस्ट्री चैप्टर नंबर वन द नेशनलिज्म इन यूरोप मेनी टॉपिक्स आर देयर बट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक व्हिच इज वेरी कॉमनली आस्ड बाय सीबीएसई बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन first of all when you will open your chapter you can see in at the very beginning of the chapter a picture is there okay and this picture is not a simple picture this picture says many thing about the mid of 18th century mid of 18th century so this picture is an imaginary picture of the world this picture was painted during the mid of 18th century or we can say during 1848 this picture is prepared by a french artist and his name was frederick suryo you need to remember the name frederick suryo he was the painter of this image he prepared a series of four painting okay in this in this image or in this picture you can see four paintings okay that is why it is known as a series of four painting and he also named it as democratic and social republic okay remember this one the name of this picture is democratic and social republic so <coughs> first of all we will see what the picture consists of the first picture is the people of europe and america the people of europe and america okay the people means here all men and women all men and women of all ages means there was no any age limitation and social classes marching in a long train means the people of europe and the people of america both men and women of all ages and marching marching in a long train and there was no any social discrimination means all the community all the society togetherly marching okay in a long train and they not only marching but also they were offering homes to the statue of liberty you can see there is here in this image here is statue of liberty here is statue of liberty and the people of europe and the people of america offering homes to the statue of liberty dear students all of you know very well about the statue of liberty and its importance but today i am going to tell you two important things regarding to this image about the statue of liberty so statue of liberty bears the torch of enlightenment in one hand for the people of europe and america and in second hand she bears the charter of the rights of man 
so here men means all european and american peoples here men means all european and american peoples in first image you see the people of europe and america means the men and women of all ages and all social classes marching in a long train and offering homage to the statue of liberty now in second image you can see just in front of the image okay just in front of the image you can see on the earth in the foreground here i have no see here this is the this is the part okay this one is the part okay on the earth in the foreground of the image it lies shattered remains of the symbols of absolutist institution okay so remember already you have discussed in your class 9th okay at the in during 18th century most of the european countries were under the monarchy power and here french artist frederic chirio dreaming that the the if the country should be the all the european countries should be democratic and social republic it means what destruction of monarchy powers so that's why that is okay lie in the on the earth okay on the earth in the foreground of the image lies a certain remains of the absolutist institution remaining part of the absolutist institution that is it, it shows that complete destruction of the monarchy power from europe now in third image you see the people of the world are grouped as distinct nation you can see there it is a very long queue okay like this from the earth to here and the people of the world here world means all the european countries okay and american countries are grouped together okay all of them came together okay as distinct nation okay they came together but with their nation's identity that's a distinct nation okay how they identify themselves identify through their flags and national outcomes flags and national outcome all the peoples are holding here see different type of flags they are holding it synthesize it identify their nations okay as well as all of them having different type of outcomes means their dresses uniforms okay whatever you can say so the dresses and the flags synthesize they are particular nation they belongs to and also you can see all these peoples are leading the processions towards the united states and switzerland all these peoples are moving towards home toward united states and switzerland where these peoples are moving towards united states and switzerland yes because at that time united states and switzerland were ultimate were turned into okay already turned into democratic and social republic country that's why all the whole nations of that time of european and american part wanted to turn themselves like united states and switzerland or we can say into democratic and social republic so <clears throat> the flag <clears throat> the people of germany bearing the flag or bearing the black red and gold flag you can see here okay three colors flags are okay seen here so these are the people of german and they wearing what say black flag red flag and gold flag and all these flags carry an expression of what of liberal hopes of liberal hopes in the year 1848 and to unify german speaking principalities to unify german speaking principalities because at that time german was okay divided into various nation various okay small nations and 
all these peoples are trying to make them okay a union germany so following the german peoples many other nations were there among them the first one is your austria second one is the kingdom of two sicilies remember the kingdom of two sicilies we will read it more okay and many times in our part and third one is your lombardy fourth one poland fifth one is england sixth one is ireland seventh one is your hungary and eighth one is russia so these are the country or these were the country who follow germany and they also tried to make themselves into a nation state or we can say democratic and social republic and lastly the fourth image okay you can see here here is christ or you know that jesus christ and your saints are there and angels are there so christ saints and angels these pictures symbolize fraternity among the nations of the world means what the peoples are doing the god also okay the god also like them and they are blessing they are blessing to do so okay and this is the whole idea of the image which is prepared by artist frederick shrio during 1848 and or we can say that in the image of democratic and social republic these ideas are come out thank you